Hello everyone, my name is Renny and I'm today going to show you how to get a free Shoutcast server and some free software to broadcast your music to the Shoutcast server. Okay, so first off we're gonna start up with getting a Shoutcast server. It has around 1000 slots so 1000 people can hear your radio. Okay, so I opened freestreamhosting.org. In order to get one server, you need to register. I agree, sign me up. Okay, now you just type in random username, password, because they won't send you anything to your email and in case you forgot your password you can get it to your email Okay, so my account is successfully created. As you can see here, it says S9. So that means I got uh, the server group 9. Okay, so I log in now. And there it is. My Shoutcast server. Uh, so um, now that we have our uh, server running, well not completely, it's red still, that means it's not on, uh, we need a software to broadcast our uh, music. So one of the things you can do is use Winamp for that and you need a small plugin for it. It's Shoutcast DSP plugin for Winamp. You can download it and then you can configure it in Winamp to work on your radio. So as I mentioned before, uh, we got the radio uh, port and IP, but um, we need to put all the info in order to work. There it is. Okay, so um, what I'm gonna do is find out what's I what is the IP of my radio and my port. Okay, so you see, um, this is all the info you need to put in this plugin. That is the plugin of um, the Winamp that you use for shoutcasting. Okay, so you make um, you need to put in the information. Okay, I'll click on out output three. So server IP host. I put that in and my port is 30192 I put that in okay so it says stream password so you don't need to put in the username but you can put your username doesn't matter put in the password automatic reconnection in case your connection breaks or something um you could uh, put the legis uh, mode on if you want but it's not necessary because these servers are a little bit modern put the out connect on okay now what you got to do is type in description Put in your website if you have genre. I'm gonna put electronic. Uh, one of the good things 
uh, about Winamp is that this plugin can send uh, current track information. For example, uh, your listeners can see what song is playing now. So it's a good, good thing to have it. Okay, so as input device, I'm going to click on connect. Yeah, and it says not connected. That's because the server is not started and as you can see it's red. I'll click on the restart button. And you can see it's now yellow. So that means I can connect now. Chipper response received. If you get chipper response received, then you need to click to set a uh, shoutcast version 1 mode for legacy servers. And then you click connect and we are streaming our music now. Okay, so now that we have the music running, we need to find our tuning link in which you will use to send to your friends so they can listen to your radio. Okay, here is your main link to the radio. And it looks like this. Okay, so as you can see, the music is running. Um, you have a small chat box on your right, some ads. Um, the basic thing about this, it's free. And while being free, it has its own restrictions. In order to use this links, you need to first open this page. So if a friend of yours wants to listen to your music uh, through Winamp, Windows Media Player or li Real Player, they need to first to see this site and then to click on it. You can't bookmark it for later use because um, the ports were randomly randomly chosen and when you stop recording uh, stop streaming your music um, in about 10 or 15 minutes the stream will be off and you will be unable to stream to it again so you need to f get another stream okay those are the basics for Winamp other programs I like to use it's called Sam Broadcaster it's very pow powerful program uh, lots of uh, online radio stations use it and it's like the website says the best end-to-end to -end radio automation software as you can see on this little picture here it has lots of buttons and everything but don't worry I'll show you how to use it okay so now I'm going to turn off the Winamp for a while yeah not current streaming and I need to select Sam. Ah, there it is. So I have the version 4, but I think the latest version is the version 5.6, I think. But that doesn't matter, you can use any version you like. So um, now I got the Sam Broadcaster's um, main menu, so to speak. So, what do you need to do? First, we need to set up um, the encoder. I remove my old one so I can show you. Add new encoder. Use the MP3. Okay, so the setting you can put is maximally 128 kilobits per second. Mode stereo, sampling rate put 44,100 okay now server details put on the shoutcast and now you put all the info you got on your website so server IP paste port paste password now enter a station name 
genre you can choose whatever you like I'll put the radio website I don't know enable tile streaming and list on public station listing so everyone can listen to your radio okay now that we have the encoder set up we need to put in some music okay auto DJ is on so I put from my history or whatever you like computer um, okay so I'm gonna find my music I don't know for example let's see what do I have okay I'll put in all of these files okay so now that I put everything I just turn on the encoder by pressing this play button Okay, so I'm streaming now. Okay, so I'm streaming now. I need to press the play button here. And the auto DJ will automat automatically play all the songs that are on the playlist. Okay, so one of the things you can do in Sound Broadcaster is to talk on air. So you put your microphone on and when you're ready to speak press the talk and when you finish talking just release the mouse button while talking the music will go a little bit quieter and you can see the changes as you see the meter has gone a little bit down so it means you can talk uh, other things you can do is put in the um, random effects for example you can put in the chicken effect cartoon effect cow effect etc etc you can put in your own effects and everything else what you like for example if you recorded an um, interview with someone you can put it in and then cl just click it in order to play it well that is the basics of this program and the basics of this shoutcast service there is one more shoutcast service that's called um, let me see listen to my radio dot com it's also free and you have 5000 listeners maximum you just need to sign up it's free nothing paid and when you get your radio site will look similar to this but you can choose more options for example you can remove the ads add a blog add a picture or something but in order to remove the ads and in order to get better quality more listeners you need to pay around ten dollars I don't know so basically that's it enjoy your free radio streaming <laughs>